What's up everybody? How's everybody doing? I hope you guys are staying healthy and staying alive and all that good stuff. Today, we're going to be opening up this awesome and amazing wrestler from WWE. And that man is EC3. That's right. I'm opening up the main man himself, Ethan Carter III. That's right. He is the first time on the line in the line ever at elite series 70 so let's look at the sides right here here he is on this side and here he is on here which is his name he has the finisher he has the one percenter which which means he is the top one percent <laughs> Uh, that, that, I can't get enough of that. And he's also from Florida, so you gotta respect this man. I mean, if you're from, hey, if you are a wrestler from Florida, that means I have respect for you. Just like, um, Adam Cole, baby. If you guys want to check out that video, go check that out. But for right now, we don't need to focus on Adam Cole, baby. We can focus on, on him later, but for right now, we're focusing on EC3, a.k.a. Ethan Carter the third that's what it means in short so let's look at the figures I already have EC3 as we speak I do have Johnny Gargano definitely have this younger version of Vince McMahon aka I kind of wish we got an older one you know the current one today in 2020 slash 2019 yada 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 then you get Finn Balor which he was in TakeOver New Orleans not TakeOver New Orleans TakeOver um London, London. I'm sure it has to be London because he was wearing the hat and he was he was, well, he was dressing up as Jack the Ripper. It was pretty lit. Um, and I do not have the two Dolph Zigglers. One, he comes with the Intercontinental. Um, he doesn't come with the Intercontinental Championship, but I know he won the Intercontinental cha cha Championship, Intercontinental Championship, the IC title, aka he was wearing the attire of it, and he was wearing the heel one, which is in pink. Which I want to get those two, by the way. And I do not have the main man himself in the S.H.I.E.L.D. version, which the S.H.I.E.L.D. have already broken up, and Dean Ambrose is already in AEW, a.k.a. he changed his name to John Moxley. Whew, that's a huge mouthful. Anyways, yeah, here is Seth Rollins himself, a.k.a. joining the S.H.I.E.L.D., a.k.a. doesn't have the yellow little spot that he used to have in his hair, which I'll have to explain in a different video. And, yeah. But for right now, we're focusing on EC3, a.k.a. Ethan Carter the Third. All right, comes with interchangeable hands. All right, enough of them. Enough with me talking. Let's open up this figure. Bay, bay. Hey guys, here is your boy EC3, and I'm gonna try to at least get my hand not in the way. So here's EC3 throwing up the three symbol that he does with his hands, not symbol, more like gang signs, whatever. He's a lit dude. Kind of don't blame him because WWE ain't going to give him a push, so it's kind of sad. So he comes with the EC3 little big cast thing that, that he used to wear. And it says EC3 slash NXT on the back. Um, arms go 60 degrees. He can bend bend his knees. Kind of like that, like he's about to do the squats. Um, his leg goes around, which is not bad. Um, chest goes like that. Well, well, it's the sides, actually. The chest area, not bad, actually. Um, arms, like I said, 60 degrees. You can just do that. Um, this is a little loose, but it's not broken or anything. But if you do have a loose figure, then I prefer fixing it or buying a new one. Because if you can fix it, that's good. If you can't fix it, then yeah, I have no choice to say buy a newer one. And, um... This might be the only figure that we're obviously going to get because that is this is the last EC3 figure. This is like the only one that they already made. Like too bad they couldn't just made a second one maybe like in pink or blue or whatever. He used to have blue when he fought Dean Ambrose but I don't think we're going to be getting one anytime soon. So um, yes you can pop the hands off of EC3's hands if you want to but I prefer keeping his EC3 gang sign hands open. So here's, let me just borrow Jinder Mahal as an example. He's not going to be a part of this video for this long. So you take his hand, you pop it like that, and then boom, just like that. On Jinder Mahal, you just switch his hands, and that's about it, and he's not in the video. Or maybe he is in the video. 
or maybe he's just not maybe he's just not a part of it. Um, his head goes 60 degrees on EC3. Well, you can call him Ethan the Carter the Third, so that's what it means. You get the three on his knee pads, then you get the E, and then you get the C flipped in a different direction, and then you get three in the middle. So it's not bad. It's pretty nice. I like this figure a lot. I want to give this figure a 10 out of 10 because I'm rooting for EC3, man. I I, I kind of don't blame him. And then you can just put the microphone in his hand if you want to, but I prefer not because I might use him to make stop motions, not for keeping them in a box or anything, unless if you're like a collector or something like that. So here's the mic too as well, just in case if you don't know what it looks like. It's the NXT mic. So that is about it on EC3. Do you guys think he deserves it a push? And maybe WWE shouldn't have released him in the first place. Put it in the comments down below and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.